Okay. Finally, we get the compressor. And I'm gonna start taking this valve off. Okay. I'm gonna remove this bolt in the middle. Okay, got it off. Now let's remove these small screws or bolts. The ones that holds the expansion valve. Come with a new bolt, but the bolts that uh, are supposed to come with the valve are those bolts. Sometimes those bolts they are very rusty and uh, hard to remove. I lost my small socket, so I'm gonna use this one. Gabriel Auto Technician of Laguna Heights reminds you to be ready for the hot days of summer. Get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow. All types of maintenance from Paris for your auto and truck. Air conditioning, heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, fan belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto can fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, Laguna Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in Laguna Heights. One of them. Let's remove the other one. The valve's gonna come with it. See? This is the old. Uh, Expansion valve. It doesn't look real dirty. Okay. So now let's remove the seals. Okay. These seals, they're okay because it's not like they're not flattened all the way we can reuse them in an emergency but if we we have to change all the seals when we repair and we, we put a new system in and uh, I don't like to use to put used parts and uh, especially the, the seals see I get this this one because the guy sent me the, the wrong seals too so now I'm gonna flush that uh, evaporator I'm gonna have to put a pan under to catch the fluid the flush fluid now let's get the hose let's see if this hose fits in there it fits on the small one Let's put this one. <laughs> so funny. Okay. To put it under because it, it needs to catch the flush. I'm gonna use this one. Four ounces to flush the evaporator. All right. Let me pressurize the bottle. Remember to put your safety glasses on. Okay. 
Okay, it's full. Now, let's inject uh, the fluid. Okay. Now, let's run. Let's do it. Blow a little bit more here. Nothing's coming out. Got it all flushed out. Let's clean the connections. Now let's find the gasket, gasket rings, it's one of these, yes, yes, and this one, yes, now let's put some oil. Right there. Okay. Now let's install the valve. The new valve. Got it. We put oil over there, right there. Now let's slide the the valve in. Hold it there. Let's put these ones. Let's put a little bit of oil. These ones get rusty too too fast. And uh, if, if somebody has to disassemble it again, maybe me. Doesn't have trouble. Right there. And right there. And we have the new valve. In. And this is a hex. Four millimeters. Got it. Now the, the next thing to do, we're gonna flush these lines. See? We're gonna flush them. We're gonna put something under there to catch the fluid. Catcher. Okay, let's put some fluid in here and then on the other one. Okay, flush it.
the, the seals. Okay, so now we're going to check the summer. Get your preserver. preventative maintenance now and save money we to the We right have the right compressor now from another source. Heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, guys. band belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto can it fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, Laguna Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, this is in the Laguna right one. Got the valve on the back. Let me get the other one. It's the same as you can see the, the safety relief valve here and here everything is right the connector it's right the same connector same design it's the right one okay we have here the capacities condenser replacement one ounce evaporator replacement three ounces any line set hose tube or tube assembly replacement one ounce total system pack oil capacity 4.1 ounces. See? So we need to put in the system 4.1 ounces. And uh, the refrigerant charge. It's 1.2 pounds. This is a 134 system. Not 1234 YF, not yet. See, but it's the same amount of, on pounds. See, so this is the capacity. We need to put 4.1 ounces inside the system. I'm gonna put 4.1 ounces inside the compressor. What I think for me, this is too, well, too little amount of, on, of, of oil. That's why it's, the compressor is frozen. This is a 2014 Cadillac CTS. See? See, compressor failure can occur if the oil removed during refrigerant recovery is not replaced. But I didn't see this car, it's uh, somebody worked on before. It doesn't look like on the AC. Maybe they opened the system because that's, that's not enough oil. Maybe six ounces, that's good, but not four. Anyways, I'm gonna put four. Because that's what it says. And it uses, it uses the pack 46. See, low viscosity, 46. This is the number, the GM number, 88901445. This is the oil. I'm gonna put in the compressor 4.1 ounces. Right here's the ounces. Two and four. It's almost erased. Need to get a new one.
Like a pressure, like a pressure. Okay. We're gonna need to hold that one and go inside. in the compressor because from here it's going to be out on the system so let's put the cover so we can install the compressor We've got the seals right here see this compressor may contain shipping oil drain shipping oil and add manufacturers recommended oil type and amount to drain hole or suction port see the drain bolt, bolt, it's this one. There's no other one. It's this one, the suction port. Right here, right? Okay, let's put the compressor. Let's put the bolt here because there's no way we can put the compressor in because of this bolt. Okay. <coughs> Let's connect these connectors. Make sure the bolt then fell off. Let's connect this other one. there and right there it's connected Okay, I'm gonna put this one on top. You can see it because I have the camera right here. I can see. Right there, the one on the back. Now the one in the bottom. Okay, let's tie the stud right here on the back. See, compressor is in place. Just remember that the, the stud has got a heck hex head okay it's tight got it now let's put the nut right in here right there now let's tight the compressor in place Okay. Okay. Now this one. Right there. Now the nut. This one it's connected all the, already. All the way with the locking tab pushed in. This one it's in. Everything it's in. Now let's tight the rear nut.
Okay. Got the compressor in. <clears throat> the wire it's on its place. Everything works fine. Now I need to put the O rings right here and connect the hose right in there. Okay. You got the seals. Put a little bit of oil. Push it in. Gabriel Auto Technician of Laguna Heights remind you to be ready for the hot days of summer. Get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow. Okay. All types of maintenance and repairs for the auto and Oops. air conditioning, heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, fan belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto can fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, Laguna Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in Laguna Heights. Okay, let's remove the rubber cap and Push it in place right there. Need to push it in here. This way. Okay. Let's put the nut, the nut, the bolt. I'm gonna put some oil because right here, as you can see, it. Rusty. Put a little bit of boil right there. So it helps a little bit. Make sure it's seated right on the guides. Okay. Now let's tie it. The bolt. Make sure it's seated right on this, its, its place because uh, if not, you can break the compressor, the thread, or something. This is not too tight, just a little bit tight, but not real tight. Okay. Make sure everything is seated. Now let's connect this line on the back on the bottom. 
and then put the other one right here. Okay, let's go here on the bottom. Let me lift the car a little bit. Okay. We need to connect the high pressure switch on this line. Here's the connector. And we need to change the ring or ring seal right here on this line. You see. Let me see. Stay right there. Hey. Right here. It's the seal. We need to find the other seal, but first we need to clean that tip. Okay. <laughs> we need to find the ring seal. See this one? Yep, this one. Let's put some uh, oil. Put some oil and put it in here. Uh -huh. Okay. Now uh, remove the this cap and push the line in there okay push the line the way in. I'm trying to push it more but it's, it's on its place. Now now let me connect this one. Okay. This one jumps. Right there. It jumps the Because I moved the radiator, this one gets on top of the base. And this one it's in place, I was trying to push it more, but it, there's no way I can push it more. I got the nut right here. Okay. Let's tight. Let's tight. Okay, tight but not too tight. Check the other one. Yeah, this one is ready. 
we got the pressure switch connected right here we got the lines connected now let's take this one down and let's put the bolts already okay Okay, now let's clean the hose that goes from the condenser to the expansion valve and this uh, suction line. Let me change the seal on this suction line already. Let's put some oil. Let him in. Okay. Got this one. This one. Now let me get the other line. I clean the line. I flush it. Now let's remove the seals. We need to put the ready for the hot days of summer. Get your preventative maintenance first. now and save money tomorrow. All types because of maintenance from repairs for your auto and truck. Air conditioning, heating, tune-ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, band belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto can fix it or yeah. replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician. I'm just gonna put Highway 100. Laguna uh, Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician. 413 Small Highway coat. 100 in Laguna Heights of uh, copper see these gaskets it's better not to put silicon because uh, it can damage the oxygen sensors or the if it sucks to the turbo it can damage the propeller so I'm gonna put this stuff oops See, copper spray gasket. That's what I use on the on the metal head gaskets, as you can see on the picture of the can. See, but I use it on all metal metal gaskets. I spray. It's kind of a paint, copper paint. It's not paint is copper with some kind of glue see right there I'm gonna put it right there okay okay let's put this one in the bolts tight the other one okay all right tight now we can put the line. See? Put it in the brackets, right in there.
Okay, at this part we need to put the fan first because this line it's on the way. So I'm not gonna connect it yet until we put the the fan in. See? Right here. We need to tight these hoses that connect the turbo need to be real tight because it pulls lots of air okay I got it. I need to put the hose on the bottom. The lower radiator hose. Don't forget to remove all the staff stuff. You put rags and plastic cups. Don't leave it on there because it's going to cause a problem. Right there. Okay. Okay. Got the hose. Low radiator hose in. Let me put the nut right here in the expansion valve. Bracket nut, bracket nut. Okay, it's tight. Now we need to put the radiator fan, but first we need to connect the transmission lines. Okay, let's put the clips in here. Alright, push them in, both of them. Right, you can see them right here. We need to push them. Um, there's uh, three holes that needs to be one, two, and three. So you need to put it on the space between the two uh, holes. It's gonna be here because if not, it's not gonna do anything. See? Getting all that weight. That's it. Now let's push, push the line 
right there. It's a quick, quick connector. Just push it in. That's it. Make sure it's locked, locked in. Right now, it's locked in. So now push the plastic cover in that holds the the locking ring closed. Um, I'm gonna leave this one out right now. I'm gonna put the radiator fan assembly. I'm gonna remove this hose from here too. And this one out of the way well, so I can put the radiator fan assembly. See, right there. Then we can put this one. We got the radiator hose in. See? We got radiator hose in. We got the lines, the lower radiator, not radiator, lower transmission cooler line in. See, the turbo hose connected and the uh, and the clamp tight everything is on its place the bolts right there everything I just need to put a nut right here but we need to put a we need to put radiator fan assembly and connect this one we got the fan assembly let's slide the Slide, slide them on, slide them on, right there. Okay. Make sure it gets on the guides. Got it. See? on place. Got everything on. This wire goes on the back. This holes right here. Okay. Now let's put the nuts or the bolts here. See? Before we connect lines because not there's gonna be on the way don't forget to connect the electrical connector for the fan just push that one in because it's not on the way okay make sure it clicks summer get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow all types of maintenance from Paris for your auto and truck. air conditioning heating tune-ups brakes transmission Tight. cooling systems fan belts ball joints. Them all. If it's on the car Gabriel Auto can fix it or not too hard featuring computerized diagnostics but it goes Gabriel Auto Technician the 413 Highway 100 Laguna Heights that's Gabriel Auto Radiator. Technician 413 Let's Highway 100 in Laguna Heights gaskets I put here okay Got a tie tight. Let's put the upper radiator right hose. Push it in on the way. And put the clamp. Right there. 
Okay. Connect this one. Reservoir overflow. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have to remove this hose, the upper radiator hose, to uh, fill the engine and fill the <clears throat> radiator. I don't know if uh, we'll see. If it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. okay. We got the clamp right here. We need to connect this turbo and this connector. This turbo cooler hose. it goes all the way and make sure it's it gets tight okay now let's connect this one this is the master flow meter. It needs to go all the way in. Got it. Connected. Okay, we got this one tied. We got <coughs> the hoses connected. We got this connector. We just need to connect these ones. See? This line. We need to push it in right there so it's locked in push it in down there on the bracket it's one slot like this one now try to pull it out make sure it it's get locked on now we can put the cover <coughs> plastic cover all right so we got everything right there let's connect the lines we put oil already on the gaskets here and this one okay let's put the nut hello okay right here in this part we need to hold the line because nothing is holding that part so we need to hold it right there in this one got everything on see the brackets are on place what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the vacuum right now to check for leaks I'm gonna put it for about five minutes close the valves on the gauges and check if the gauges doesn't move I'm gonna give vacuum all the way until an hour and then when the vacuum is working I'm gonna put all the rest of the parts like the belt the, the other uh, stuff I need to put see okay let's see close the valves Wait a little bit, see if it's got a leak. Of course, this one is a negative uh, suction leak. Sometimes it's not enough, but when you put pressure it, it's a positive pressure, so it's a different thing. But I can see there's no no leak, no suction. Okay. See, no leak. Let's keep giving vacuum. 45 minutes. 
let's put the other stuff right here and the belt here I got it's got the other grommet in here Okay, let's connect this, master flow, other master flow, one for the turbo and one for the, okay, and this one, push it in, that's it, we need to tie the clamp, okay, let's put the belt. This belt is a special order. Around this, and then and around this. the vacuum already let's put this bracket right there let's uh, put the right amount inside the system and we need to put the uh, coolant to the antifreeze okay let's close this valve get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow all types of maintenance from Paris okay we're not Heating, going to tuners, start the brakes, engine cooling systems, until we fill the system on the car gabriel auto gabriel auto technician 413 highway 100 on. Heights. that's gabriel auto technician capacity highway 100 1.2 pounds doesn't take too much so let's put 1.2 pounds, pounds in getting close 12 ounces, 13, 14, 15 pound, right there it's a pound, okay, 0.2, okay, we got it full, alright, let's fill the cooling system. right here so you can see okay this is the coolant this car uses it's a pink coolant okay it's coming out from here so we don't have to create an opening for the air, for the trap air to get out. Okay. Another thing we need to see if if a uh, fuse won't blow because uh, the compressor gets get uh, frozen so it could be a, or a blown fuse okay okay we got the coolant the hoses and everything in we forgot to push this hose right here Okay, the booster hose, the booster vacuum hose, right there, 
we got everything on so let's check how it's going how they see it's going to work okay okay let's see I'm gonna take it out let's start the engine Cut it off. I'm going, to, I'm going. I'm going to turn the car around. Okay, we got the AC, and the AC is working. I didn't want to turn it on yet, but the car itself turned the AC on. It's full and everything. I see it's working. I didn't want to turn the AC on until I check everything, but it comes on by itself because it, it wasn't off at all. So we got the AC on, working fine. Pressure is okay. There's no way we can add more refrigerant because we put the right amount already. And we put the um, We put the oil and everything, so there's nothing we can do right now because everything is all right. We just need to get the engine warm, get warm, so we can check everything. Everything on the cooling of the engine. Let me get so let me get the the thermometer. Oh. I bet you wish this cold temperature inside your car. See bring it over here to Gabriel Auto Technician. We can get it cold. 41 degrees inside. See, 41 degrees. Forty degrees. Thirty-nine degrees. If you bring your car to fix here, a Gabriel Auto Technician, make sure you bring a sweater or a jacket or something, cause uh, you're gonna get uh, cold. Right there. Temperature, it's okay. We got 39 degrees, 40, 39. It's switching between 40 and 39 degrees. That's what's coming out from the vent. See, 39 degrees coming out from the vent. And outside, let me see how, how many degrees we have outside. It's not too hot, but we have 90 degrees outside here in Laguna Heights see so it's not really hot but I bet you wish you want this cold temperature see? I'm just saying All right, everything is working fine. We got the pressure. The 
new expansion valve, new condenser, new compressor, and everything flush for a nice temperature. Right here, it's showing 109 because we're closer to the engine. But outside here, it's like here in the sun. 102 degrees See? So we got it Thank you very much So we got another AC Real cold Thank you very much for Watching our videos And I hope it helps To It helps to, um, to fix your car just in case you don't want to bring it bring it here with me okay because there's no way I can fix all the cars see okay thank you very much for watching and subscribe to my channel visit my Facebook page put a like on and um, I'll be I'm uploading videos and more videos how to do the things see and well, I like to do the things right, so make sure you put a, a, that belt so it can ring, so you can receive the notifications, see? Alright, see you then. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in Laguna Heights.